good old Sega, known for such wondrous games as Sonic the Hedgehog and other games, I suppose. But this is a game that didn't get, a, I don't think it got a whole lot of critical acclaim. I checked up, but it doesn't look like it. But this is the backstory. I hope you love it. And they pray for this guy. Come get him. Alright, come on. I'm ready to start playing. Oh, look at him. He's a cute little guy. He wakes up because he's hearing that. Oh, what's that? Huh? Oh, gotta get up. Uh, Alright! <clears throat> Apparently, I'm the son of a legendary hero in this game. I am Rystar, and this game is called Rystar. I'd go to the options, but that shit's stupid. So I'm just gonna start it off to Planet Flora. Planet Flora is a lot kinda like the Green Hill Zone. It's a lot kinda like it. And this game, you can stretch up diagonals, down, up again, left and right. It's good times. You don't jump too good. It sucks. Oh yeah, and hit extra walls. This. You get a free life! It's pretty tits. I like it. I like it. And watch out, because those guys, those rabbits will grab you. And apparently those rabbits are inspired by the original idea for Rystar, which was a rabbit that grabbed shit with its ears, which kind of sounds like, that sounds like a cool game to me, but I mean, I like the dumb things. And Rystar is a cute little guy. He was what they were originally considering for shit like Sonic the Hedgehog, but then they wanted to emphasize the genesis of speed, because whenever, and that arrow pointing lets us know there's an extra life in there. And this, I like this game, a lot of people like the music a lot, I'm, I don't know, it's okay, it's not my favorite. I'm not a giant fan of a lot of the music on the genesis in general, but I mean it's still a good game, it's a pretty good pretty good thing. I don't know. But, you can get other things in holes if you want. And sometimes, just bashing yourself against a wall will drop gems or stars and stuff. It's cool by me. I like it. And I thought there was another rabbit in that bush, but I guess there wasn't. Be careful. Those treasure chests are tough to get. Excellent. You got another gem, which just give you points, and I think it's like every, I don't know, 500,000 you get a free life, something like that. I'm just guessing. And the, the gem's points are, I think, randomized. God damn it. I didn't notice that, but you get explosives hitting you on that bush. And this, the, you'll see a lot of these. They bounce you all around, you spin around. They're kind of hard to control, at least for me. I don't know, I'm not good at them. And here, this one's not flashing, so that means it's a bonus thing. A rotator. And it's not exactly a difficult bonus area. And I'm gonna... I don't know where a lot of these bonus areas are. You'll just see the ones I find either accidentally or somehow. I don't know. But here's your bonus. I think there's one of these per world. And... They're, I don't know, they're, you get extra points. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bad idea. That's okay. But you get bonus points, that's cool. And here's our, basically our boss. You can hit him in his tail or the head. He's kind of in a tic-tac-toe pattern area, but I mean, you only have to hit him three times, so he's not that difficult. And here's a star. It refills our health bar by one. I like it. I, I don't know. I think there might have been something up there, but I'm not really in the mood to get it. Oh, and here's the benefit. Like, the higher you bounce, the more points you get for your height. That's pretty cool. It makes you fly all around. Like a crazy man. That's fucking bad by me. And these lizards in the foreground, you gotta watch out for them. They're dangerous. 
And something that was pointed out to me on, uh, I think Wikipedia had the information, besides that gem, which is cool, is that a lot of the enemies had their sprites changed to look more, like, angry or something, and when Rystar is just walking around, he looks pretty happy, but, like, if you let him stand still, he stand he sounds, sounds, he looks really angry, so it's clear that they were really just, they're trying to milk this whole Sonic thing pretty hardcore. They want to have, like, another badass mascot, and it's really fucking annoying. Because Rystar doesn't look like a fucking badass at all. Like, he's cool, I like Rystar, he's a nice guy, but he's no badass. It's pretty fucking lame. And hit yourself here a couple of times and knock that puppy down. You can see he has all these cute little reactions, it's funny to me. He's not a fucking badass, I get clearly. But, you know, not much, because you're making Sonic 4 and it's going to suck dick. Oh, fuck. I was kind of hoping that there was something in that in the tree set. Oh, well, and I gotta kill this guy. He was one of the, the enemies that looked more menacing in the English version. In the Japanese version, they just kind of looked doofy. Like, if there's an enemy that has, like, a grimace or some shit... Oh, and this is a blue star. You won't see much difference, but that's only because I only was missing one health. Blue stars recover all your missing health, whereas yellow stars or gold stars just do one. That's that's still cool, man. I like I like them stars. Always good to have and to deal with. I don't really care about these lamp plants though. They're just really. I, I don't know, those lamp plants are kind of like, we need a gimmick in this level, even though we're about 200 points from the end. <sighs> Riho is coming. That obviously is going to tell us that we're fighting the boss. What could he be? Oh. Yeah, let's see how tough he is. Oh, an old wizard? Well, that's not that bad. God damn it, some fucking parasite's on his back. Yep, the trick of this is you gotta get this wizard fellow. I'm not, I think Riho is the thing on his back. I don't know the wizard's name. But, yeah, the, the trick is you're supposed to let him, like, hit the weather, throw the shit at you. And then wait for him to come down like this. But I mean, as I showed you, you don't really have to wait if you just time your grip right, you'll hit him. But the wizard's happy. He's pleased that he's not under mind control anymore. And he let, he gives us some little blossoms to let us know how happy he is. That's nice. And you automatically get flown as far as you can go up into the sky like a bird and plane, spaceship even. And you get a little summation of all your points. I don't know how the fuck I get any of these. I, I know treasure bonus comes from the jewels and stuff, and secret bonuses from your items, but I don't know about, like, technical bonus. Uh, but they give you a rank by using some 90s buzzwords, like, fantastic. It's not really 90s, but I hope that's okay. Undertow. You're getting your fucking water level out of the way. However, Rystar, unlike that other guy from Sega I won't even mention, does not drown in the water. Which is good. He swims in it. It's fine by me. If you're swimming, not drowning, good job, Rystar. That is 10 points. I didn't even know that was there, but I was just grabbing around to be an asshole. Goodness gracious. This is a good looking game, though. Like, I don't know. This game's got quite the atmosphere. I love it. Except for when I swim into the squids. Even worse than when you swim into shoebies. Fucking water, man. Why is it so 
gorgeous. And yeah, like, you can stretch your arms, or if you press, I think, yeah, the jump button and a direction underwater, you go flying forward. Right? Some gems, some spikes, avoid them, they're danger. If we've learned anything from Mega Man, it's that spikes are hazards. Another one of the enemies, that eel down there, that's another enemy that looked dorky in the fucking Japanese version, and in this one they had to give him angry eyebrows, because he's such a fucking hard ass. Instead, he's just a big fucking spikes. That's okay, the blue star saved me. And this is technically, I guess, what you might call them fucking boss of this stage, but it's not really a boss, it's just the wave washing up dumb enemies and boring malarkey. But, oh, and he, there you go, there's Rystar's dumb animation. Let me get some of them fishes. <laughs> this is pretty lame. Yeah. That's Rystar's little idle animation, where he looks all angry for no fucking reason. Cause yeah, man, when you want badass, you go to a walking star. Oh well. But, I don't know. What am I, what am I knowledgeable in? Nothing. Let's see how high we can get it. Uh, don't go. I don't care. I'm just gonna swim and get some points even way. But, I'll cut it off about here, man, because I don't think we got time for the Lost Palace. But I'll catch you there next time. If you want, you don't have to come, though. Bye.